Hi, I've got another video looking at YouTube stats for me because have you ever wondered why YouTubers are constantly asking you, you know, sign up for the, you know, click the subscribe icon and hit that little notification bell. Why is that notification bell so important? Well, I'm going to show you here in the statistics for a uh, recent uh, video of mine, um, which has actually done fairly well. So we'll have a look at some uh, st just some general stats here, and then we'll look at the bell notification in particular. Now, this is my uh, latest uh, Free Your Sonos uh, video, which actually got um, mentioned on uh, Hackaday. So we can actually have a look at uh, the Hackaday stats there, but you can see my revenue uh, for that video, which is uh, quite high. Um, that's sort of like double, or, you know, a good at least a good 50% more than what an average video of mine would actually produce. So no, it doesn't actually pay me to uh, take the time to actually produce these videos. <laughs> YouTubers have to make money in other ways. So unless you get in like millions of views or many hundreds of thousands of views per video, it's not really paying the bills um, <laughs> that well. But anyway, you can see like the, the um, hump here during uh, particular times. This is why YouTubers have to release videos at a particular time. So anyway, I got 78,000 views here, uh, 10,000 watch hours. Again, 88 subscribers. Sometimes that shows negative. I, I release a video and you lost 10 subscribers. Thank you very much, YouTube. Uh, you really know how to motivate us. So let's go over to the reach here and we can have a look at some interesting data. In particular, impressions and how they lead to watch time here. Now, impressions are where YouTube actually displays the thumbnail and title of your video. Uh, they push it to people. Uh, like it'll appear on your homepage or it might appear uh, to random people, might in, uh, appear on the YouTube homepage if you're that lucky. That's the amount of times, 815,000 impressions uh, it got from that. And of course, I only got like 78,000 views from that. So, you know, only like about one tenth of the people that my thumbnail is displayed to are actually watching it. So of course there's a couple of uh, things that attract people to click on your video. First and obvious thing of course is the thumbnail. Is it visually uh, catching? Because when people like scroll through their homepage or they're scrolling through a list of uh, search results or, or something like that, right, the thumbnail is the first thing that grabs your attention. That's why I use like yellow font like this. It sort of, you know, it pops to the eye and uh, stuff like that. Not, not that I'm a thumbnail master. <laughs> <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, thumbnails do actually um, help a lot. And of course, the title, are you interested in this, you know, is the person interested in this video? Is it something they want to watch? And something a lot of people don't think about is the uh, watch time as well, because the, even if you don't know it, you're looking at, oh, how long's that video? You sort of, your subconscious glances at the time on the video, even if you're not aware of it. Let's say I edit like a video and it comes out at like 32 minutes. I'm then going to aggressively edit that video so it's just under. 30 minutes, so it's like 29 minutes and 50 seconds or something like that. So it sticks in your mind as like a 20 minute class video. Oh yeah, I've got 20 minutes. Oh, I'll watch one of Dave's videos for 20 minutes, um, even though it's 29 minutes. So anyway, so all that sort of stuff factors in. But you can see that 75% of those impressions came from YouTube recommending my content. This is where the algorithm the algorithm trademark, um, <laughs> you know, if, if you're favorable in the algorithm, it'll push your video, if you're dropping out of favor with the algorithm, um, and then yeah, you're going to get absolutely hammered. So you can see uh, recommendations on the uh, homepage, that's the viewers um, homepage, I don't think that's the YouTube homepage, um, is uh, 57%. So it's going to be in like those dozen or so videos that it uh, recommends to you when you uh, log into YouTube. And then recommended on the uh, watch page, 17%. And then there's uh, almost 25% there of viewers seeking other content, so it's recommended against other uh, videos I've watched. And then you can see that views from the impressions that I got, uh, not from like a subscription uh, and notification stuff is uh, 35,000 views I got from that. And you can see nine minutes 10 is the average view duration. That's not too shabby. But the interesting one is down here. And let's have a look at this. Bell notifications sent, okay? <laughs> I've got almost 900,000 subscribers and only 39,000 500 of those subscribers actually get notified of my videos because they clicked 
the bell icon. This is why YouTubers are always hammering away. Click the subscribe button, but also hit that bell notification because only the bell notification matters, really. That's the only way you're going to get notified. So it says before your video is published, 39.5% uh, or only 4.4% of my audience have bothered to click that bell notification icon. So the rest are not going to get notified that I've got new videos. And of course, <laughs> YouTube claimed that they've sent out 39,500 uh, subscriber notifications, but I get people who have the bell icon, they said, I don't get notified of the videos. And that happens to me as well, uh, being subscribed to other YouTube channels, hit the bell notification, I don't always get the notification. So that's just BS and everyone knows that. So, you know, but they claim they sent out 39,500 uh, to all of my people who have the bell notification ticked. And the notification click-through rate, and here's where the statistics come into it, right? Only 1.1% or basically 1% of the people, my own subscribers, who like my content, went to the effort to subscribe and then went to the extra effort to hit the bell notification icon. Only one, basically 1% 1 of those people bothered to click on the video and watch it. Um, <laughs> So here you go. If Of course, I've got an eclectic content channel, which means I have dozens of different style of content. So everyone subscribes for a different reason. So I'm not one of those channels where, you know, if you subscribe to my channel, you're going to get the same thing you subscribe for every time. That's almost certainly not the case for my channel. So it's really difficult for me to convert subscribers uh, into views. So the subscriber to view ratio of my channel is uh, quite poor compared to like other channels, like say, you know, subscribe to Big Clive or a Great Scott video or something. They'll sort of give you the same style of video every single time. Um, so they get a higher subscriber to view ratio than a channel like my own one, who like you could get anything when you, you know, subscribe to my channel. So I make tons of different, um, I think a couple of dozen of different styles of content. But there you go, only 1%. So this is the struggle that YouTubers have um, to not only get you to subscribe, but to hit the bell notification and then um, attract you enough with the thumbnail and the title and everything else to get you to click. So only like only 1% of the people who bothered, Not that's not of my entire uh, ratio of people, right? So I only got 455 views. 455 views from people who hit the notification icon for that video. Yet I still got, you know, 78,000 views or whatever because it was being pushed on home pages and, and stuff like that. So this is the struggle. So the struggle is real for YouTubers trying to convert, uh, you know, those subscriptions and bell notifications into actual uh, views. So yeah, like I don't go down the rabbit hole. I've like gave up years ago, like looking at the statistics and trying to optimize stuff. But you know, as a as a full time YouTuber, I'm aware of you know I've got to make a d at least half ass effort at a decent thumbnail, a decent descriptive uh, title, and something that's you know a relatively eye catching thumbnail that sort of entices you to click on my video as opposed to any of the hundreds of other electronics uh, you know content channels that you subscribe to. Um, you know, I'm subscribed to countless uh, channels and I only have a limited amount of time per day to watch uh, YouTube videos. I probably watch more YouTube videos than I actually spend um, producing content which is not good. Um, <laughs> YouTube's a time sink. Anyway I just thought that was a really interesting insight. 455 views. <laughs> On a 78,000 view video came from bell notification people. Of course, you know, people might, uh, they might have seen the bell notification and then they might have remembered and then came back later through a different mechanism. They may not have like clicked on the notification email or app thing or, you know, shoe phone app or whatever it is, uh, right? So, you know, there's bound to be a few more there um, that sort of like bypass the uh, tracking mechanism here, but still, like, that's just incredible. So yeah, it, if you're signed up to your favorite YouTuber, hit the bell notification icon. It makes a huge difference just from a sheer statistics point of view of how many people are going to not only see that notification, <laughs> being whether or not they actually get it based on whether or not YouTube will grant them uh, the honor of getting the notification they signed up for. Um, but yeah, they, <laughs> they do claim 39,500 subscribers got the notification. And other videos here, like, it's the same thing, right? They claim that they're sent out for every single video. They claim that they're sent out 39,500 <laughs> notifications. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs>
Yeah, can you smell that? Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> so you can see, for example, this high security safe lock video, which of course is a niche uh, topic. It doesn't really appeal uh, to a lot of people. But there's 283 views from the, uh, you know, the near 40,000 uh, subscribers notified, apparently. Um, and that, that video only got like 24,000 views or something. So like a third of the views that this one got, yet this one only got 455 views. So you can see that the YouTube recommendation pushing your um, content is, you know, proportioning your total traffic, YouTube search terms, right? It's search terms, people searching for EEV blog, right? Searching for Sonos. What's, what's this one over here? Yeah, it's people just searching for EEV blog. So when you put up the title, does that come up? Could be, could display one of my older videos, you know? YouTube has a habit of like putting up, you know, 10 year old videos, seven year old videos or something. Um, so yeah, it's just a random when you search for that. But that's interesting, huh? And if you want to know how many views I got from being uh, hacker aid here you go. 73% uh, came from the YouTube uh, search, so well, Google uh, search, and 20% uh, came from hackaday.com. So we can actually see more down here, and it should actually, there you go, Hackaday, uh, 2,800 views came from Hackaday, you know, so that was a, a, a little bit boost, not a huge amount, uh, really, considering the video got 78,000 uh, views, but, you know, like <laughs> four times more or something came from um, just Google um, searches, search results with linked on, uh, which linked to YouTube videos. So that seems to be like actually Google search terms rather than YouTube as a uh, like search term. So, so a huge thing there, you know, 17 people on Discord and uh, Twitter is not a driver um, for videos, never has been. Facebook's, um, <laughs> Facebook is a much bigger driver, but I do actually have, if you don't know, I do actually have a Facebook page, which all my videos get auto posted over there. But sorry, I do not uh, use or uh, read comments on Facebook. It's just my page is there if you want to discuss with other people, but sorry, I don't, um, uh, virtually never go there. So Hackaday, not a huge um, impact on the 78,000. Uh, total views there, you know, and look, you get weird. Oh, look at that, three people from DuckDuckGo. <laughs> it's all happening. Um, and all sorts of obscure, geez, they get really obscure. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting because, yeah, I was like just shocked at that because I don't look at my stats all that often. 455 views out of 78,000 came from my notification people. 1.1% of the bo people who bothered to uh, thank you very much for like being notified uh, for my latest video. I know all my videos don't appeal to everyone who subscribes. You'll subscribe to different reasons. Uh, thank you very much. But now, fair enough, you can say my channel's an eclectic channel. You know, I don't give people what they sign up for every single video. So, you know, fair enough at the 1.1%. But the interesting thing is here, look, it tell it, YouTube tell us, typical on YouTube. So this is a typical of other YouTube channels is only 0.5 to 1.5%. So I'm like bang in the middle of where you expect it, even for an eclectic channel like mine. Does that mean like a non-eclectic uh, channel, one that gives you the same video every single time? There's really popular uh, channels that have a high subscriber to view ratio. Are, are they like at the top, the cream of the crop at 2.5%? Even that is terrible. So this is why, yeah, you have to be blessed by the algorithm. So I hope you found that video interesting and useful. If you did, please give it a big a thumbs up. And as we'll always, discuss uh, down below and over on the EV blog forum. And yeah, hit that bell notification icon for every channel you subscribe to. Big, it's, we're struggling. The struggle is real. Catch you next time.